What is going on cryptocurrency investors? My name is Landon and welcome to Crypto Review Central. The cryptocurrency markets are currently at $343 billion, which is quite a lot higher than it was just a few days ago, hovering above $300 billion, but barely. We've seen a few bullish days that many investors are hoping will be the new norm. Multiple sources have been calling for an altcoin season this summer, and although Bitcoin dominance has dropped a couple percents over the last few days, it is nowhere near the full kickoff of altcoin season many of the projects are hanging in showing green today with eos pumping to 24 percent following their mainnet launch eos has been largely criticized for not having a working product and many believe that it was an exit scam with ongoing allegations between bitfinex tether and eos and an open investigation by the united states department of justice into cryptocurrency price manipulation we will absolutely be keeping you guys informed on the developing details it is going to shed a lot of light on what is going on in these markets and will hopefully give a lot of logical explanations for why the price has been stagnant in such an overwhelmingly fast developing market. Development on the GitHub and in a number of these assets with a ton of new assets always coming onto the market and development being rampant, worldwide mass adoption is well on its way with a number of projects doing big, big partnerships. The topic of today's video is IOTA. With a $5.1 billion market cap and $121 million in 24 hour volume, it was one of the only assets that was pumping in the last few days of retracement. The pump kicked off on May 28th when the market was very low and was consistently seeing double digit gains in the last few days. And as this market continues to rise, pushing $350 billion, I imagine IOTA will continue to do well. Launched in 2016, IOTA is a public ledger with no chains, no blocks, and absolutely no fees. Its name stands for Internet of Things Application. And instead of a blockchain, it utilizes a new technology called the Tangle. Its underlying currency is called MIOTA, and without any transaction fees, this network is designed extremely well to handle a large amount of micropayments to power the Internet of Things. The importance of micropayments will increase in the rapidly developing IoT industry, and paying a fee that is larger than the amount of value being transferred is just not logical. IOTA was designed from the ground up to have absolutely no transaction fees to really rectify this ongoing problem. This solution was made possible with the utilization of that Tangle technology. There will be over 20 billion devices estimated to be connected to each other by 2020. IOTA wants to be at the forefront of this Internet of Things revolution by creating a currency for all of these devices. Any communication or task performed between such devices will need some sort of a currency, which with to power all of this communication, and MIOTA aims to be that solution. With the ability to complete transactions instantly and free, some argue that it is the perfect currency for these devices to eventually use. The network is able to achieve a consensus with no transaction fees because of the Tangle technology. Tangle is the coin termed for IOTA's directed acyclic graph on which the network is based. Instead of being packaged into blocks and chained one after another, as is typical with blockchain technology, IOTA's transactions are connected in a big tangled web. The figure that you see here is a visual representation of how this tangle is going to operate, with each yellow box being a device and the subsequent lines between them being the communication that is required. Rather than having mining farms and mine whole blocks, each user verifies the past two transactions with any tiny amount of work before he or she can send their own transaction. Rather than having these mining farms and all of the energy required to operate them, for every transaction the user must verify two previous transactions and a tiny amount of work before he or she can send their own transaction. In this way, the cost of each transaction is simply the cost of electricity it took to verify the, path, the previous two transactions rather than a fee set by a network of miners. Since there are no blocks, one doesn't need to wait for verifications. Transactions are mined in parallel and as a result happen instantaneously. This is why Tangle-based cryptocurrencies are able to achieve some of the highest transactions per second. Utilizing the technology of the Tangle network enables IOTA's network to become more resilient against the ever so popular 51% attacks, of which very recently Verge was a victim. 
Another advantage of IOTA's network is quantum resilience. Because it uses Winternet's hash-based signatures instead of elliptic curve cryptography, it's able to resist quantum-based computing, which will inevitably come in the future. Current research suggests that hash-based functions are secure against quantum computing, which was one of the main reasons why IOTA went this way. There are a number of partnerships that IOTA has been working on and fighting recently with Tron for the ninth position in the top 100 on CoinMarketCap, recently reclaiming their ninth position after losing it for just a couple of days, after losing it a few weeks ago for only a couple of days to Tron TRX. There are a list of companies that currently use IOTA and that list is constantly expanding. One of those being Satoshi Pay, a blockchain-based nano payments company announced a partnership with the IOTA foundation to replace bitcoin as the company's settlement network another company is refunite to trace families that have been separated during times of crisis they are exploring access to critical information and the increasing opportunities that arise from a more connected world CarPass is a company that guarantees correct mileage on your odometer by creating a digital twin of your car on the blockchain. Powered with IOTA to use MIOTA as its underlying currency, CarPass initially used Ethereum for transactions, but after realizing the potential of IOTA, they made the switch. There are two main options for storing IOTA. The first is to download the wallet from IOTA's GitHub and install the node on your computer. You need to run a node on your computer in order to send transactions on the IOTA network. The other option is to use an exchange wallet, but do so at your own risk, as that is a centralized unit and is really against the moral philosophy of blockchain technology. If the exchange goes down or you get hacked, you'll lose access to all of your MIOTA. IOTA is on a wide list of exchanges, with the number one and number two volume being pretty evenly split between Bitfinex and Binance. And at any given time, you can find Binance in the number one position, shortly followed by Bitfinex. Other notable exchanges are OKEX, Huobi, HitBTC, Coin One is also coming in as the number fifth most traded with IOTA with a Korean won pairing. IOTA is trying to become the backbone of IOT or the Internet of Things. Bitcoin aims to be a globally adopted currency that could improve or even replace conventional fiat money. And Ripple mainly serves as a payment network for financial institutions, namely replacing the SWIFT payment protocol. Nevertheless, the majority of people today still only see cryptocurrencies as an investment opportunity, and the entire market is really made up of speculation. Many of these assets are in constant development, and IOTA is no different. Now, in talking about the real-world use cases for IOTA, I left out one of the major announcements this year that really changed the face of cryptocurrency. IOTA has been partnering up with Volkswagen to make driverless vehicles a reality in Europe and provide a sustainable future for that industry. IOTA and Volkswagen got together at the Connected World Conference where they discussed the future of decentralized platforms and smart cars. Volkswagen believes the future of smart cars might lie within the technological possibilities of decentralized blockchain-based platforms. More and more companies and institutions alike are getting into major partnerships with, with cryptocurrency projects. And it tells a lot about the influence that blockchain technology has on, on real-world functioning businesses. With the Volkswagen CDO being chosen as part of the IOTA Foundation's supervision board, the partnership was set. It was largely expected during that major announcement that IOTA would start to recover, and it has somewhat, although there is a long way to go before it reaches all-time highs. Now, the recent news in IOTA that caused it to pump throughout the last week of overall bearish action on May 29th, they released the Trinity Mobile Wallet and the IOTA Foundation has a blog post that says, over the last few months, the Trinity development team has been working diligently in close collaboration with community members, long days and nights, building, testing, getting feedback and iterating. There were passionate discussions within the team and community over every detail of the wallet and many evenings spent justifying our obsession to our loved ones. The Trinity Wallet is created to provide assurance to the wider community that the wallet is safe to use and almost free of error. It's been subjected to two external reviews, a threat modeling exercise, and a security audit. And there has been bugs discovered 
as is expected, but they've all been mitigated or patched. The mobile beta is now live, so go to trinity.iota.org and have a look for yourself. Also, just two days ago, IOTA went live on Binance with a tether pairing, causing more overall interest, and although volume has been relatively low, they're still above $100 million in 24 hour volume, which is healthy for a sustained push. Now, just yesterday, another major partnership had been announced by the IOTA Foundation. After successfully partnering with other major names, a new development is on the horizon. Norway's DNB has signed a memorandum of understanding with IOTA. The main objective is to explore new use cases involving the Tangle technology. One of DMB's executives has said, as Internet of Things and machine-to-machine -machine communication and payment for microservices seems to escalate in the future, we think engaging in a distributed ledger-based technology like IOTA gives us valuable experience and know-how on future revenue streams and business models. They are looking forward to dive into the IOTA space. It has been an absolutely huge week for IOTA at a very trying time for most cryptocurrency assets. Earlier on this same week, they also parted with the United Nations and Richard Soley. All of this confirms there is great interest in the native Tangle technology. And there's another mysterious Q project that's expected to be unveiled later this week. These are all major deals for the IOTA Foundation. And most people will hope that this is going to impact the IOTA price in a positive manner. Although with Tron also launching a very successful mainnet and seeing subsequent bearish action, positive news is not always reflected in the price. But rest assured that IOTA is getting ongoing development and companies around the world are increasingly getting interested in their unique Tangle technology and their dedication to being the backbone of the Internet of Things. IOTA has recently extended its gain with a few short downturns that seem to come in handy with the continuous rise. To find out more about IOTA, they are hosting a TEDx talk on June 9th and it's much awaited as regards to the implications of IOTA in this cryptocurrency market. They are on a calm pace, like I said, seeing bullish activity Activity despite the market peeling back and it will be interesting to see how entrepreneurs and business analysts react to the future prospect of cryptocurrencies in general. This is the first time that a leading cryptocurrency has decided to spread its methodology and ideas in wake of such a mega event targeted to a mega audience. This move is due to attract numerous firms to join the fray and future mergers are surely seen coming IOTA's way. Mergers in this cryptocurrency market generally lead to a firms generally lead to bullish activity in the price as observed with Ripple and other cryptocurrencies. It's definitely going to be interesting what comes of this TEDx talk and as we continue to watch the overall cryptocurrency market cap looking at a very bright future, the internet of things is surely going to radically change the way information is shared and so far IOTA is really making a splash in ensuring their participation in the future of IOT. Continue to follow as we release the ongoing details and relevant news stories with IOTA along with any of the other assets that are trending in the top 100 and outside of that. Heading over to TradingView, one of the most upvoted charts with IOTA is showing a bullish setup with an Elliott wave structure that if realized sees IOTA hitting above $5. Will that be realized? Well, a lot has to happen between now and then before we can see IOTA even breaking the recent failed attempt at just below $2.80. So for those looking for short-term gains, that would be the significant resistance area that IOTA has to break through in order to hit all-time highs. But the future remains bright, so keep it locked right here as we cover the ongoing developments. Thank you so much for watching Crypto Review Central. My name is Landon, and until next time, everyone.